What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the DX9 La Hire, or their version of a Masterpiece scale, The Last Night Hot Rod. This was sent to me by Dr. Diecast along with a bunch of other stuff. Thanks to him for sending me all this stuff for review. I was really excited to look at this because of this vehicle mode, which is gorgeous. This is a Lamborghini Centenario from the movie uh, from 2017. It's a beautiful alt mode. Nice paint job on it too. You got this kind of gunmetal metallic black and then orange accents all throughout along the side. Nice silver painted winds, rims with rubber tires. On the back you got those slit uh, rear taillights done in red. Exhaust port there. The rear tail fin can actually pull up and down like a real car. And yeah, it's very, very nice looking. It does roll nicely on these rubber tires. And overall, it's a, just a beautiful vehicle mode. We do get a minifigure with this. This is a Megan Fox. doesn't really have any detail or anything. It does have the hair, but there's no face features. It has a little bit of articulation. The arms can rotate around. Uh, nothing at the head. The legs can bend forward and then the knee can bend 90 degrees and she is on high heels so it's a little bit tough to get her to stand but if you open up the door here and just pull outwards on this bottom part here um, you can actually and you got to kind of wiggle it out it's a little bit tough but get it out and you're going to pull it back and lift it up and it actually opens like the scissor door on the real car which is kind of neat but you'll see there's a seat in there and there's no interior or dash or anything but you can get her in here if you bend it just right it's a little challenging you have to kind of get the legs straight out and then the arms and you want to tuck the head underneath you can kind of get her in there it's not sitting perfectly, <laughs> it's kind of off to the side, but you can get her in there and you can close up the door and you can just reseal this. And now Megan Fox can drive around in hot rot. Pretty cool. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Magic Square Optimus Prime. I don't have my MPM Optimus Prime anymore, but Scales pretty well with the Masterpiece scale. Now it is meant to go with MPM figures, so I think it'll work just fine. All right, now let's get Lahire transformed into robot mode. This is a relatively complex transformation, and since it's an older figure, I actually watched Emgo. He did a really good transformation instructions, and I don't think I'm going to do better than that. So I'm going to just get it transformed off camera, and we'll be right back. All right, and there is Lahire in his robot mode. And it's a really nice looking robot mode. Beautiful paint, black, orange paint, silver, lots of silver accents throughout. I do find this chest sometimes comes apart, it doesn't stay together. But there's a lot of nice detail on this. I'll try to put an image there if I can find a good one. Uh, really looks the part though. The doors can be reconfigured however you want, and you know, if you want them out to the side, you can kind of open them up like this and do that, you know, or push them in a little bit, kind of have them like wing doors. So that's pretty cool. There is an ab crunch here, and it, it gets kind of loose. It's just on a pin, and there's nothing really holding it. So you kind of have to, you know, just position that the way you want it. But that's a nice little option there if you want to display it a little bit differently. You can choose to do that. Let's go over his articulation. The head is on a rotating swivel, goes up to there, down to there, and rotates all the way around. That's a nice amount of down. Shoulder rotates around on this joint, out to the side. You'll notice the arms won't go in any further than that, and that's just because of the sculpt. It does seem a little bit limited there, or hindered. You have a rotation at the bicep. So, bull jointed elbow gives you the full bend. You have a rotation at the wrist. 
You have an indiv individually articulated pointer finger at one, two, three pins, and then the other three fingers are together on those three pins, so you can still point with him. And then the thumb is on a ball joint and has a pin for the middle, so you can pose that hand if you like. Coming down to the waist, you have a waist rotation, ab crunch, which I mentioned already at this joint right here. Legs will kick up to there, but it is hindered by the sculpt. So as you rotate it up, you have to kind of rotate it outwards as well on that thigh. Back to there, same thing. Out to the side, again, hindered by the sculpt, but you can get it out to there. Rotation at the thigh, around a universal. You have a uh, single, yeah, single jointed knee, but it gets you well past 90 degrees. You have a knee rotation as well. You have ankle, and these ankles, or these feet, they're die cast into plastic, so they like to pop out. Uh, but you do get ankle tilt, no forward and backward, just tilt in and out. Uh, but you have to be careful with popping, so you can see this one already popped out. Um, and that, it likes to pop out on its own. So you just gotta be wary of that. As far as the accessories, we get this blaster here, just done in a black plastic, really nicely sculpted and detailed. It has a little slot on the bottom, which will fit into a peg on the inside of the hand, bottom inside. So you can peg that in. And it is a tight fit, but it's nice because he holds it very firmly. And that looks really good. And he does come with that blast effect. So you can plug this in and get that. That looks really good. Really good. And then you also get this gun, kind of like a missile launcher or a grenade launcher. It's got a little bit of blue paint. Very nicely sculpted. Same thing. It's got a slot and it'll peg in to the hand. Very secure peg. I like that, but yeah, he can be blasting some Decepticons. Now he can use this blast effect in either gun. So whichever one you think. But yeah, really nice weaponry here. And then of course you can still bring in the Megan Fox figurine, although like I mentioned earlier, it's very hard to get her to stand because of her high heels. You can probably balance it or just have her leaning against him. And for a quick size comparison, there is next to the Magic Square Optimus Prime. Again, I don't have the MPM Optimus, uh, but it fits in nicely in the Masterpiece scale. Looks size right for a car bot. So final recommendations on DX9 La Hire. This is gonna be a soft recommend, but I'm gonna give this a four out of five and recommend it. I think the vehicle mode is really beautiful. The robot mode looks really good, but there's some parts that kind of come apart on you as you're posing it. As I was trying to get into this pose, there are a few things that started to come apart, like the foot here uh, and the chest just likes to pop apart. Um, not a huge deal, but also not very convenient. Uh, but he does look really good. Um, just a little bit limited on the posing. I like the accessories. You get some nice two guns with the blast effect and a minifigure. You don't get all that these days with uh, some figures, so it's nice to have some of those accessories there. But that's really it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.